Tired of those old mechanical drives ruining the performance of your computer? Well, what if you were to upgrade to one of the newer solid state drives? That's right, the M2 drive. Let's go ahead and show you how you would do that. I've got a computer here, and one of the first things that we're going to do is, well, we're going to remove the cover from the case, and we will just set that to the side. Next thing that we're going to be looking at is, well, doing a little bit of ESD prevention here, right? We don't want static electricity uh, to ruin our circuitry. And then the goal is, is to take one of these, this happens to be a 250 gigabyte uh, M2 SSD here, and it is a PCIe, and it uh, sits in a four-lane slot, if you will, so it's the four-lane mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to install that in the motherboard. One of the first things I need to do here is take off one of the blanking plates that is next to the PCIe slot on the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and do that. I've got my little screwdriver here. It actually works with your thumbs too here, but I've got such fat fingers I need the screwdriver there. We'll take off the blanking plate that is next to the PCIe slot that we are using here. And then finally what we're going to do is just take the SSD card and we will place it down into the PCI slot. We'll make sure that it clicks in place. And then re not replacing the blanking plate, but definitely the screw that holds the blanking plate in place because that is also going to make sure that our M2 driver, our SSD, doesn't move around on us. So let's go ahead and uh, we will do that as the last part here. And I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, use the screwdriver to help me out on this one again. My fingers do not like to get down in there and work with these. So there we go. We'll tighten that back down. Make sure that uh, the solid state drive doesn't move around. And you can see right there inside, we now have that nice brand new fast solid state drive installed. Now that we've got the card installed, we need to get it connected to the motherboard and more specifically the data cable. So that's one of the last things that we have to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead here and we will plug in our serial ATA connector to the back of the drive, just like that. And then the next thing that we'll do is we will connect our serial ATA connector to the bottom, uh, well, I would say bottom of the case, but actually more importantly to the motherboard. And once that is done, we should have our SSD completely installed. There we go. It clicked into place and we are good. So I'll go ahead and I'll remove our ESD wrist strap here. And last but certainly not least, we have to return the cover on the case. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then it'll just be a matter of getting into our operating system and formatting this drive in a way that we can use it. Now, if you've enjoyed this content and would like to see additional content, hop over to IT Pro TV where you can see hundreds and hundreds of different shows on things like computer repair, help desk technicians, server operating systems, networking, and security. But you can't enjoy it unless you don't get your subscription. So join us here at ITPro.TV.